Hello everybody and welcome to another shader graph tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you three different ways of creating this outline effect. Spoiler alert, the three of them are not that good. So with that in mind, let's jump into it. I will start by creating a cube, a sphere, and let's make it smooth, and a monkey and let's rotate it 90 and another monkey that will be smooth and we'll have a subdivision apply let's export these into our project and let's go back to Unity, drop these in, let's scale them down, we can scale them from here. Um, move them up, scale them down, okay. Now, Let's start by the first method, which is the easiest. Let's create a shader and let's call it Fresnel Outline. And as the name suggests, this is going to be a Fresnel node. Let's have a property for its power. Let's set the default to be three. And let's go through a step node and put that as an albedo color. Let's see that. Create a material out of it. And let's remove this. Let's make a duplicate. Let's reduce now we have a problem with the value of the the edge of the step so we can we can create a property for that let's default it to 0.5 and save Now you can see this obviously doesn't work for sharp objects. You can see like here because it's based on the angle of each surface. But for smooth objects it might just work fine. So that's the first method. Second one um, is a bit more complex. So let's create a shader and let's call it depth outline. And this is based on the scene depth node which as far as I know only works in uh, pipeline version 5 plus which is like unity 2019 and above I'm using 2019.1 beta if you want to use that so I'll do just like my previous tutorial on the intersection shader we will multiply this by the 
camera's far plane and then we will subtract this from the the distance so let's split this and let's use the alpha so we will subtract it by the distance of each this has to be row so that this will give us the distance um, between the camera and each uh, vertice and then what we also want is the position in word space and then we will add to it a value and then transform it to well, from all from world to object space and then use that for the position and I will show you what will happen now and for the add I will go with um, a subtract between the position of each vertice and the <coughs> the position of the object which is m most of the times it's in the middle of the object depends on where did you create your model and all that stuff and then this is going through a multiply node and let's call this position multi and use that property and connect that to the add so this is going to add um, to each position of uh, the, the vertices of the mesh it will add a vector generated from the origin of the object towards that point so it will go either outside or inside so now you'll you will see what, what I mean by that so here we have this depth outline material assigned to these I just switched to the lightweight render pipeline because of the transformation uh, the transform node does not really work correctly I guess in the HD but it works in the um, lightweight so now we have this position multi and you can see the uh, the mesh just gets bigger um, I guess we need to have bigger boundaries than this let's go with point 0.2 and in the minus and in the positive and you can see this thing so now If we plug this to the albedo, and uh, we have to have a multiply of zero, and um guess this is transparent it has to be opaque let's save that All right, and then you can f see with offset is zero and depth multi is one. 
you can see this nice outline. However, there is a caveat for it. And it's that when you put it close to something, this is what happens because it is depth. So the depth of the surface is the same as here, this surface, and so it will it will ruin this outline. So the last method that I know about is to go back to Blender and flip all the faces. You enter edit mode, you select everything, control F, flip normals. And let's do that for each one of these. flipped and the non flipped and what we are going to do is to select these put the scale it has to be pivot and scale them a little bit um, and you can have these have a shader or a material that is um, let's see outline and I have no clue what is this go for unlit color and just put a black and then you can catch all of these and open the material and assign outline and you will have an outline now you have to remember that this is a stupid idea probably because you are having double the amount of polygon and if you want to if you have something animated you will have to do like it, it has to be two animated objects uh, at the same time also you can see these um, faces that might appear at some angles um, but this is pretty much the 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 nearest way like the nearest method that you can do to accomplish that without writing an HLSL shader because that uh, in that method they actually do the same they do the first render pass which just draws the whole object in black and then a second render pass which draws the object shaded um, in front of that black stuff but in this case, you have actual geometry, which is why you can see these in front of the, the actual thing. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Sorry if I tricked you into showing you these all bad methods. I guess there are no really ways to do it in shader graph yet, at least. So hope you enjoy it. Please consider subscribe. And have a nice day.